Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to pay attention, I'll present the InstaSpin FOC solution with that's a sensor spin, that's a sensorless FOC control solution from TI. First, I'd like to start the identification process of the software sensor. What you do is that you have to set up the GUI interface that we have. You see you have different parameters you need to set up. I know that I need this value to properly identify the motor. Now I start the software algorithm that I, that I uh, estimate the values I need for the software sensor to, work, to give you a proper angle. Now it's running for two minutes, and then I have the motor parameters, as you see on the screen, the RS and the, the L, D and Q, and the flux values. You need to figure out how, where is the angle of my rotor right now. When you have the angle, you want to put the magnetic field at 90, uh, 90 degrees upon the, upon the rotor magnet, magnets, and then you'll have the maximum torque. And this, is what, and this angle estimation is what we do in software now with three voltage, uh, three voltage measurements and three current measurements. You can also do it with two current measurements. Some of the good things with the, with the sensor, with this control, is also you have easy stall recovery. It's stable through th zero, so you can go through zero speed, no problem. You can start up with a good torque response, and everything is highly automated. The fast algorithm as such, you'll see that the angle accuracy is impressive. It's similar to a 1024 mechanical in encoder steady state uh, machine. Also, you see again, stall recovery, you have it, it's stable through zero, but it also works in all motive quadrants. So what you can do is that you can both use the motor in motor mode, but also in generator mode. So now we see that the identification is done. You see that the motor is identified, and now you have the option of going into the speed and, speed and torque mode. So here you see that we do a cascaded control with a speed controller first, and then a, or a speed controller first, and then a torque controller, and then we generate the magnetic field that we need. So now I start the motor, and it runs at 200 RPMs. Right now you see that it's taking a little while. What we're doing here is we're measuring the re resistance again, and we are also measuring the, uh, the offset calibration of the, of the motor, of the H-bridge. H now you see the motor is running at 200 RPMs with a very good torque response. We also build into the GUI interface, we have uh, different options. We have a, we, you can build a speed profile where you have uh, seven different targets. You can switch in between with a time, time, de time delay, or you can go into speed reversal. With speed reversal, you see that the motor control easily goes through zero speed with a sensorless approach, which is very difficult if you have a, uh, if you have a SMO solution. Now I start the, the speed reversal. You see again at the motor. Again, it's calibrating itself, and then it starts running one direction, it stops. You see that it stops precisely, and it goes the other direction. We can also put a weight to the motor and see how it starts with, uh, with the weight connected. And now I start running the motor again. And now you see that the motor starts running. And you see that it pulls up the weight. And what you see here is also that when it goes to zero, it stops. And you see it still keeps the, it still keeps the torque on so it doesn't lose the position so that the weight drops. And this is because you have very good torque signals that you can measure on, so you can, you can define exactly what you want the motor control to do. Now I'm gonna stop the motor again. Take off the weight.
We also, for the software library, we also have a Code Composer Studio version, of course, that you would need when you then start to go into real development. So now I'm going to show you a Code Composer Studio demo running with their InstaSpin version. So you see that the software is also doing what it's supposed to. And there we will also see how you can do torque response live with a running motor using Code Composer Studio and the feature of C2000 that you can do real-time debugging. So you see you have Lab 11. I press debug. You see that Code Composer Studio is first compiling and then downloading the code into the device. After that, you see that it switches over to the debug screen. Because I've already identified the motor, I take the motors from a header file. And you can see here I have it set up for speed tuning. I now have to change the acceleration. So I put the acceleration at 100k RPMs per second. And then you can start doing speed response tuning. So now you see that the motor is running, and now you see it's running really, really fast with a small, with a small, with a step response. And then, when you see the curve, you see nicely you have the step response of the speed controller, where you can now, for instance, define: Do you want less overshoot? Do you want it to be quicker? Do you want it to be slower? Here, I now just change the current controller to a value I know is is good. And then we can test the speed controller with the lower value. Now I go back to the standard value from before. Then I do the step response again. And then when I press refresh, you see that suddenly you have no overshoot when you run the motor. And this you can really do with the motor running and you don't have to simulate it. You can actually test your, prop your hardware and see how it runs, and all of it done with the uh, yeah, running system. So, and this is part of what we can offer with InstaSpin FOC, and again, this is all sensorlessly done.